All right, we're gonna take these right here and see if they'll go through this cornstarch, which is what they call it, oblique. You see, you can poke right down through it if you go slow. Some weird stuff, but anyhow, we're gonna see if these two babies will go through it. This is uh, 30, 30 rounds. So let's uh, let's get after it. Let's see what we can find out happen. Assuming it went all the way through and busted the bottom out, huh? but who knows until you get down there and start digging. It doesn't look like it went through. I wish I could find it. Let's see if it looks like it's in this stuff. I'll go back down there and do it again. If I can, we'll come in from this angle. Let's see if we can find that bullet. Okay, I think it might be in this stuff here. Not a full one, in it? Let's try it again from this angle. Gotta be down in here somewhere. There's something. What's that? There's some trash, look like. I don't see a hole. I don't think I see a hole. I might. pieces back in there well okay pulled up this out of here and I see something this is gonna be one of them and then is there any more there's another one look like they both come all the way through the first layer but they didn't make it through the cloth on the bottom. I'm going to say this is probably the slower moving one here. But, uh, so they come all the way through. 3030 definitely has some power. But, I hope that was a good show. It's about, I guess, six inches of oblique. And, uh, I'll wash these bullets off and we'll take a look at them. Okay, here are those two. This one here was the lower velocity one, which we forgot to turn on the camera when we did it. This here is the FTX, and it uh, was a lot higher velocity. You can see it had a lot more impact. And it also expanded out a lot better. This one here, for whatever reason, after impact, laid over on its side and went down through there like that. This in here pretty much went nose first. All right, now we're going to take this right here, which is a 5110 cartridge, and shoot it into this stuff and see what it does. That'll probably be the last one, because I imagine that'll blow it up.
All right, let's see what it did. I'm assuming it come all the way through. I would just assume so because, my goodness, that was powerful. So it looks like it blew all the way through that one. I think it might have blew all the way through. It might be in this one. I don't know. That doesn't look like it comes through that one unless it comes through there. It doesn't look like there's a hole in there. So, stop in here. Maybe it didn't even come all the way out. I just cut my finger, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's dig down in the bottom of here and see if it's still in here. That definitely. Up oh, there it is, right there in the very bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Well, I think that's it. Let's see if we can get it out of there. So, it stopped it. It blew that bullet all to pieces. Not with a lot of impact, but it did stop it. Shows you that the higher the velocity, especially on the lighter weight bullets, it can stop. Alright, here's that projectile right here. This is what she looks like. Pretty much destroyed it. Pretty amazing. It contained it. I figured it might blow, out the, blow up that container. It blew stuff way on up in the sky.